they thought it would never happen. When we did officially get that news, it was pretty devastating. After more than 60 years, Our Lady of Fatima is closing its doors in Newcastle and consolidating with All Saints Catholic School in Ellesmere after this school year. To actually hear it come out of their mouth and say, we won't be opening the doors in September. And with a seventh grader, um, one more year <laughs> made that, that blow, you know, even worse. Lori Kane graduated from the pre-K through 8 school in 1984. In fact, since 1970, Lori has had brothers, cousins, their kids and hers in Fatima at one time or another. Since pre-K, you go, you, the 8th grade is the people to be. Like you want to be, oh my god, the 8th graders, oh my god, the big kids. So I always wanted to, like I was going to be them next year. Instead, 13-year-old Megan will spend 8th grade at All Saints. But at All Saints, I feel like we're just going to be like there, like we're going to be there, or a year we're gone. So, I mean, I'm not really looking forward to going there at all. But, I mean, I like the school. They've been together for so many years as a community and as a family. They're just a really tight-knit group of children that really enjoy each other. Kathleen Kenny has been at Our Lady of Fatima since 1974, first as a teacher and now as principal. Teachers and faculty found out about the consolidation the same day parents did. We had been watching the um, trends over the last few years. Um, the faculty knew, based on their enrollment in their grades, that the population was not there. At one time, 600 students attended Fatima, but now only 232 remain, not enough to justify a subsidy of $94,000 when the parish is staring down a $60,000 shortfall this year. I'll put it this way, uh, we ate the apple. And the apple is the American dream for families. White picket fence, two kids, one boy, one girl. We don't have large families like we used to. Poor enrollment is to blame, in part, for the recent downfall of another Catholic school in Newcastle County. When St. Paul's in downtown Wilmington closed two years ago, some of those students came here to Our Lady of Fatima. And now those students are being uprooted once again. Over the past two years, the Diocese of Wilmington says enrollment in Catholic schools overall has declined about 9.5%. So as we go further south and west, we see people moving in those directions. Um, the people who are staying where we are are either the people who have raised their families or they're people whose families are growing and they're looking for the bigger house. As more families move to the suburbs, more parishes have had to consolidate. Two examples, All Saints is the product of four consolidated parishes. Our Lady of Fatima will make it five. And the diocese's newest regional school, Christ the Teacher in Glasgow, opened in 2007. It's supported by four separate parishes. I think what we are seeing, though, is that one model is not the answer in all situations. So a single parish model could work two parishes working together or a group of parishes working together is probably going to be the answer as we move forward. June 6th is the last day of classes at Our Lady of Fatima, closing the doors on 60 plus years of history. I mean, it has been my life. It has been my, my passion. It has been my mission. It has been my vocation. Um, and, and certainly it is going to be very difficult for me to walk out of these, this door at the end of June knowing that I will not be back. Because that's like my home, because I, like, I don't mind going there every day. Like a lot of people, like they hate school, I hate going to that building. But I love that building, like I do.